First and foremost, congratulations and welcome to the Clemson MBA family. We're, we're so excited that you're joining us here. My name is Dr. Matt Ward. I'm an MBA E student. I'm here with Dr. Pickett, the dean of the program and the dean of the school here. Uh, we're super excited today to, to tell you a little bit more about Mobilized Rescue Systems. You may see him hanging on walls here. Uh, we're a company of um, medical professionals, military veterans, and engineers, and we have created, revolutionized, and innovated the way we can help each other with our, our Mobilized Rescue Systems. What was your thought process to why you wanted these kits on the wall? Well, the introduction to potential events that could affect our students and guests that uh, where we were just unprepared to address any of the medical emergencies. Being able to quickly uh, provide life support to an individual while medical experts are on the way just seemed uh, something that made a lot of sense to us. You pulled off the wall, there's a, an alarm bracket there that's going to sound so people are aware that there's a, a medical emergency going on. So when you do is you pop it open, the interface tells you right away, take a deep breath, Mobilize is here to help you. Now these particular kits are going to be for any preventable cause of death, from broken bones to severe bleeding to heart attacks, from hypoglycemic reactions to burns. The algorithm in itself will prompt you through a series of questions uh, that will simply say yes or no. And you had mentioned heart attack, so the first thing it's going to go through is the bleeding protocol. But in this particular case, somebody's not bleeding, they're having a heart attack. And as we kind of go through this, you know, we're going to prompt people to say, hey, is the person bleeding? No. Is anybody else near him bleeding badly? No. Um, is the victim awake? So this particular case, the person's having a heart attack, they're probably not awake. So we're going to say, nope, the person's not awake. Are they having a seizure? Right? And if you don't know what a seizure is, don't worry, we have a little more information prompts up so it can kind of walk you through that. Now, so maintaining proper position while performing CPR is essential. The two most commonly missed steps in CPR are rhythm and depth. Now in the heat of a moment when your, your heart rate starts to increase, you're accumulating sweat, your hands are shaking, the tunnel vision sets in, it's easy to forget things. It's easy to go too quick or too slow. So what we do is we actually prompt you with a beat. And it tells you to go down two inches, which again covers those two most important things. We think the value that we receive from this is incalculable. Uh, just one tragic event without this kind of support, you can't estimate the cost of that.